In previous videos we talked to you about a series of stories about Chinese aircraft carriers, such as the soon-to-be-commissioned Fujian ship, the legendary fourth aircraft carrier, and so on. Today we talk about the Chinese Navy's active Liaoning and Shandong carriers. With the emergence of the KJ-600 shipborne early warning aircraft, the Fujian ship and the subsequent types of aircraft carriers will certainly be equipped for use. So is the KJ-600 used on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers or not? Today we will talk about this issue. First of all, let's talk about the shipborne early warning aircraft. As of January 2025, in the world's aircraft carriers, the use of shipborne fixed-wing early warning aircraft, shipborne early warning helicopters, among them, the U.S. and French naval carriers, all use the E-2 series of shipborne early warning aircraft, and all use the catapult takeoff mode. Shipborne early warning aircraft catapult takeoff has almost become the standard of all countries' aircraft carriers. In addition to the United States and France, the carriers of other countries have adopted early warning helicopters. For example, on the carriers of Russia and India, Russian-made Ka-31 early warning helicopters are used. On the carriers of the United Kingdom and Italy, the new generation Merlin AWACS helicopters are used. The PLA Navy's Liaoning and Shandong ships, using the Z-18Y early warning helicopter, further developed on the basis of the straight-8 helicopter. However, the early warning helicopters, after all, the helicopter is a carrying platform in the speed, range, combat radius, airtime, detection distance, information processing capabilities and other aspects of the fixed-wing early warning aircraft is far inferior. Therefore, the United States developed the E-2 series of shipboard early warning aircraft. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons, a check air time of 6 hours, a wingspan of 24.56 meters and a range of more than 2,700 kilometers. In the above indicators, the early warning helicopters developed by various countries are far inferior. Four countries with aspirations to develop their navies will certainly develop their own shipborne AWACS. For example, the Soviet Union began to develop the Yak-44 series of shipborne AWACS in the late 1980s, and in 1990 a full-scale model appeared. According to the Soviet Navy's plan, the Yak-44 shipborne AWACS needed to equip two generations of carriers, the Kuznetsov and Alyanov's classes. It is well known that the Kuznetsov class carriers have a ski jump deck. If the Yak-44 AWACS is equipped with Kuznetsov class carriers, it will certainly need to be skidded as well. So can a shipborne AWACS take off in a skid? In fact, not only the Soviet Union, the United States has also considered the development of the E-2 series of early warning aircraft skidding type and carried out various aspects of the test. 21 est century, the Indian Navy has obtained Vikramaditya, Vikrant 2 40,000-ton class medium-sized aircraft carriers. In order to compete for the big Indian order, the U.S. had developed a skid steer version of the E-2 AWACS and did pass the skid steer test. That is to say, the E-2 series of AWACS is theoretically capable of taking off from the skid deck. But because of the skidding deck, the shipborne early warning aircraft cannot take off with full fuel, greatly limiting the air time and combat radius. According to foreign media reports, the United States launched the E-2 early warning aircraft skidding type. In India 40,000 tons of aircraft carriers to take off and lift off, air time is only 1-2 hours, air time and combat radius is greatly compressed. This is the awkwardness of skidding take off, can be used, but the cost effectiveness is low. In recent years, in order to further catch up with the world's advanced level, to create a first-class naval aircraft team, China's scientific research team has developed and launched the J-15T fighter, J-15D electronic fighter, J-35 fighter, KJ-600 shipborne early warning aircraft, Z-20F anti-submarine helicopters and other new models, new equipment. Among them, the KJ-600 shipborne early warning aircraft is directly benchmarked against the US E-2D early warning aircraft, and the size and dimensions of the two types of early warning aircraft are also very close to each other. The Fujian ship and all types of aircraft carriers after it will definitely be equipped with the KJ-600 AWACS. But can the KJ-600 be carried and used on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers? In terms of wingspan and takeoff weight, the KJ-600 AWACS is very close to the US E-2 series. The maximum takeoff weight of the Chinese J-15 is more than 32 tons. 
The KJ600A wax is expected to have a maximum takeoff weight of 26 to 27 tons. Theoretically, the KJ600A wax is capable of skidding on the Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carriers. The KJ600A wax is certainly far better than the current straight 18Y in terms of detection distance, response time, analysis and processing capability, which is the obvious advantage of using the KJ600 on the carriers of Liaoning and Shandong. But if the above two carriers use KJ600A wax, there will also be two very obvious negative problems, which need to be repeatedly considered and weighed by the Navy. Firstly, the wingspan and size of KJ600A wax is relatively large, much larger than J15 and J35 fighters. If the KJ600 is used on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers, it will further reduce the number of other carrier aircraft. The total number of carrier planes and helicopters on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers is only about 36 to 40, which is a limited number of carrier planes. If the KJ600 carrier aircraft is carried, the number of carrier aircraft will be further reduced. Secondly, due to the Liaoning and Shandong carriers adopting the skidding deck, the carrier aircraft can't take off with full fuel, which is the case for the J-15 and also the case for the KJ-600. If the KJ-600 is equipped with Liaoning and Shandong ships, it will face the situation of limited fuel in the aircraft, which greatly restricts the advantages of combat range and air time. So the KJ-600 Equipped Liaoning, Shandong carrier, the Navy needs to repeatedly consider, weigh the lesser of the two, which is a very realistic problem. There is no perfect equipment, KJ-600, can theoretically be equipped with Liaoning and Shandong ships and deployed. At the same time, the above two obvious shortcomings are also very practical. In the end, in order to carry KJ-600, reduce the number of J-15. J-35 fighters, or continue to use straight 18Y helicopters to maintain a comprehensive configuration of shipborne combat aircraft. Both aspects are very important for the 60,000-ton aircraft carrier platform must choose one. Of course, with the emergence of the 076 amphibious assault ship in the network appeared a new idea, Liaoning or Shandong ship in the course of the mission, and 076 amphibious assault ship with the 076 type amphibious assault ship 076 type amphibious assault ship with a full size electromagnetic catapult, able to catapult a variety of models to a certain extent to solve the deficiencies of the Liaoning and Shandong ships. Of course, this is only a network of ideas. Whether the implementation of the implementation of the existence of a great deal of controversy 